what is going on everyone and welcome back to the ghouls gaming and tech channel today i have something special for all of you galaxy z fold 5 users and i'm a big customization guy myself i change out my wallpapers and pretty much the whole theme of my phone fairly often maybe about once a week now today i have a special treat for you guys i'm going to give you the complete customization guide for the galaxy z fold 5 this will be all of the tips and tricks to help you get the best home setup that you possibly can get. And now this setup is pretty much interchangeable for whatever kind of theme you're going for. This is just basically the foundation of how to accomplish any look that you have. Take notes and if by the end of this video you enjoyed this content and it was helpful, make sure to hit that like button. So without any further ado, let's hop into it. All right, you guys, so I've been receiving a ton of comments when I post a video, whether it be a case video, or customization video on, hey, how did you get that, that wallpaper? Can you send me that? I'll get DMs about people requesting how I got certain wallpapers and everything like that or how I accomplished this look. So I figured to give you guys a setup on how I kind of go about setting up my phone. Now, if you guys enjoy these type of videos where I'm showing you different setups make sure to leave a comment and like the video so i'll know you guys want me to routinely show you guys how i achieve certain looks so the first thing you're going to need is two apps in particular to accomplish a look kwgt that is how i got this time and day type of thing right here it's a widget it's free the app is free so just go to the play store and download kwgt and also this app called hdq walls now that's how i get these dynamic wallpapers that have great and tremendous clarity and definition a link to these apps will be in the description if you're having trouble finding them but yeah just two apps, that's all you need. When you're customizing your phone, the first thing I always focus on is the wallpaper in a lock screen. Now that pretty much sets the tone for whatever I'm going to do with my phone. And for the purposes of what I like to do with my phone and how I like to customize it, I don't use the themes in the Galaxy Store. Uh, believe it or not, my phone is usually on default um, theme modes. And for those of you who do follow the channel, who you're wondering where the heck is Spidey because you're used to seeing Spidey as my co-host. Spidey's taking a little break. He's going on vacation. It's well deserved. We were grinding very hard through the months of August through October. So he's taking a much needed break. So anyways, first think about your wallpaper and your lock screen. So what I would do is go to HDQ walls right here, tap on it. And this is where I get all of my wallpapers. For example, the look that I accomplished now is a wolf. I wanted something clean, but aggressive, kind of eye-catching. I didn't want too much clutter going on, but I also didn't want it too simple. So I was just scrolling through the random wallpapers and I came across the wolf. Now, if you're looking for that in particular, you can just go to the search bar and type in wolf. These are the ones I kind of went with. So I just use these two right here. I was thinking about using that one because that one's pretty cool, but I only use these two. So once I went to my home setup, I made this my wallpaper. And as you can see right here, I made this my lock screen. These two kind of coincide with each other. They both give me a lot of grays and uh, blacks. So that's what I was kind of going for. And it has a touch of color in it and also gave me some white highlights as well. For me, I don't like seeing the same image on my lock screen and wallpaper, but I do like the image to be very close. Now, when you set your wallpaper and lock screen, don't forget whether you set it up on the inside or outside first, you have to do the same thing with your cover display. Now, the next thing on the list is icons. Icons are probably the main selling point when it comes to making what you're trying to accomplish come to life. For example, I always look at the colors in the wallpaper that I select. This one has a lot of blacks, grays, some hints of brown, but it's mainly black, gray, and, and white pretty much. So I thought if I make it black, it's going to kind of blend too much. If I make it gray, still, it's going to blend too much. So I figure the best medium is white. So you can just go to the Galaxy theme store, just type in themes. Me in particular, if I'm going for more of a clean look, I want the thinnest icons possible because there are some that come a little bit 
larger than others and they get kind of bloated and then also how they make other apps look kind of looks funky so for the apps i have or the icons that i have if i click on menu and then go to my stuff as you see right here uh, it doesn't put like a ring or anything around the apps that it's not optimized for it just kind of shrinks it and makes it a little bit compact and you'll be able to tell if it's going to make all of your app icon aesthetics bigger um, or smaller we're going to go to the next segment which is the color palette now with the galaxy z fold devices samsung recently introduced not too long ago but they recently introduced color palettes so it basically changes the color theme of your entire device without actually changing the galaxy theme of your device if that makes any sense so where to find this you want to go to your settings now once you go to settings you want to scroll down to wallpaper and style now once you go to wallpaper and style you will see this color palette right here now it will default kind of make it try to match the wallpaper that you have like for example sometimes this will have three dots down here instead of two it's giving me some brighter tones of colors because the wolf does have some color in the face so uh and also my wallpaper or correction my lock screen has like color in the eye so it takes all those examples and try to make the best color palette for you all right so the next thing on the list are the widgets and the orientation of those widgets so again that's why you downloaded the kwgt app earlier just to get this little aesthetic right here i know you see tons of uh, videos and youtubers with different kind of clocks and time of day and calendar widgets on their device most of them are using the kwgt app now there's a version of it that you can pay for but again for the purposes of what we're trying to accomplish it's free you just download that app and then click on it all right so once you download kwgt i know you're thinking oh all i have to do is click on it and then apply the widget from clicking on it no uh and just download the app and then don't click on the app but just hold down on your home screen as you can see right here it'll bring up basically the customization menu once you have that set up then you just click on widgets right here all right so once you see the kwgt app or you search for it and you see it just click on it and then click add now once you add it it will bring it to your home screen so this is a very important part right here slide it over uh, i'm going to slide mine over for the purpose of this video but make sure you set the orientation of how you want this app to uh basically orientate itself once you select what uh clock or theme that you want on that this is where i want it so once you have it on there make sure to click out of it so the uh, orientation bars will go away and then click on the app here so once you click on the app you will see all of the different types of time of day uh, calendars the day of the week time you can see all the different versions that you can get so once you finish customizing it just click on the save like floppy disk right here and then will automatically set it to your home screen i didn't want my widgets and apps all over the place i reduced my bottom home deck right here to just two apps this right here is the samsung internet widget right here so i can either stretch it out and have a bar or i can just make it uh this small icon right here and same thing goes with the uh, google app i can stretch it out or i can just make it that small icon. and again most of your apps i would say to accomplish whatever look you're trying to look for you're going to want to make the background transparent that's the best way to get the best aesthetic for what you're trying to accomplish all of these apps are on zero transparency so if i click on one of the apps to edit and i click settings as you can see my background color is all the way on zero because i do not need any type of background i want to be able to see my wallpaper that's the goal for me is if i set a cool wallpaper i want to be able to see it all the time if you click on google here you will be able to customize this Google app. So if you are someone who uses the Google search app often and it's on your home screen, you're going to want to customize it to make sure it blends in with what you're trying to accomplish. So just click on the Google app, click on your profile up here. Once you click on the profile, go to settings. Now, once you go to settings, 
scroll all the way to the bottom and then you will see right here where it says search widget once you click on search widget you can customize this widget and again i said this in my previous uh, tips and tricks videos you can customize how you want the google to appear you can also customize the shape of the google app you can customize the color of it if you want it to be black white multicolor or a whole bunch of colors you can do that as well and then you can also change the transparency of the app as well so it gives you a lot of customization features all right next thing on the list is the edge lighting style a lot of people do not think about this some people don't even know it's on their device but the edge lighting style basically is another thing to add an aesthetic or to complement your whole theme for your phone so what you want to do is search edge um, or lighting uh, right here i already have it searched so i just click edge right here and right here you see edge lighting style so if you click on edge lighting style and then click here again you will see all of the different options as you can see the animation that was shown on the side this will be how your notifications show up again for the look i was trying to accomplish i didn't want anything too intrusive to take too much of my attention away so i wanted something subtle on the side um, again you can change it to all of these different options you got rainbow you got fireworks you got a ton of stuff that you can you can choose from and again once you pick your lighting style that you want make sure to go to color now you can change the color of whatever that lighting is. And then if you go to advanced, you can change the transparency and the duration of that. Again, it's so much more customization that you normally wouldn't have or wouldn't even think about. All right, so the next thing on the list is the call background. A lot of people do not think to change their call background. They usually leave it to default, which I don't blame you. It's not something that comes up when you're thinking about customizing your phone. So again, to set that up, all you do is go to your search and type in call background. Now you will get this right here. You just click on call background, click on it again. It will take you right to the setting and it will like highlight where you need to click on. Click on call background and this is what I have currently. But if you'd like to change yours, just click on background right here. Click this plus button and then select from gallery. And then from there, you can click or use whatever wallpaper that you have. These are all of my HDQ wall wallpaper. So once you click on the wallpaper you want, boom, there you go. It will set it. So you can just set that as your call background. And when everybody calls you, you will see that wallpaper that you set. All right, the last customization feature, setting up or customizing your chat room. So basically that means your messages. To accomplish that, no, you do not go to your normal settings or your general settings. Just go to your messages and then click on customize chat room. So once you click customize chat room, it will bring you to the already wallpaper that you had set but you can change it to a palette right here. If you choose to do so, you can change the bubble opacity to the chats that you have, and you can also change the text contrast. So if you click this icon right here, it's basically going to take you to your gallery of pictures. Now, once you get to your pictures, you just select whatever background you want. So since I made my call background the same wallpaper as my lock screen, I wanted to set my messaging background the same as my home screen wallpaper. So on here, you can adjust the parameters to how you see fit on how you want that wallpaper to show. Once you click done, it's going to show you a preview of what you selected. And then you can click apply to all chat rooms. If you click that, every single message that comes through whether it be from a group chat or just individual people in your phone they all will have that wallpaper on your chat background all right everyone so that is your complete guide on how to customize the galaxy z fold 5 to your liking again this is a general blueprint and foundation for whatever creative ideas you guys have for customizing your Galaxy Z Fold 5. Make sure to leave a comment down below to let me know the features that you guys like the most or if I introduce you to something that you didn't even know your device had. And also make sure to DM me on Instagram. Show me some of the creations that you guys were able to put together using this guide. Or even if you already knew some of these tricks, just the 
customization features or the ideas or themes that you guys created with your device. I'll be super excited to check those out. But again, thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.